Hello everybody. Hope you're having a good day today. Um, it's going to be a nice day here once again and I appreciate that. I mean the flowers are all blooming and the trees are all blooming and my allergies are going haywire but uh, I'll just have to deal with that. All right. The, um, the lesson today is called Control Your Emotions. And uh, this is one of the biggest problems that the human race has to endure. And one reason it is a big problem is because very few in the animal kingdom experience emotions in the same way we humans do. And sure, we've all seen the crying elephants and the pouting dogs, and we've seen the devious ways of cats, and some of them we fit, just figure out to get us. And all animals are pre-programmed to behave a particular way. I mean, when, when the normal changes. And we call this instinct. And they have it. Whereas the human really does not have that much in the way of instinct like the animals do. And so, for the most part, we still do not know why certain animals behave in their various ways. And come to think of it, we still have not figured out the many ways the humans behave at different times. Now people do things guided very strongly by their emotions and these emotions were given to us by our Creator but we must also remember that our Creator wants us to control our emotions and failure to control our emotions causes us to behave in unusual ways and oftentimes hurt feelings or broken bodies are the result and even death can come about if the emotions overwhelm the, the right, or maybe we should say the wrong person. And so our relationships are forged more because of emotion than any other factor. The company we keep is determined by our emotions and sometimes our attitudes. And attitudes are really nothing more than expressed emotions. I mean, that, that's what we see. We, we see behavior which reflects what's in our hearts and in our minds. And so there are good emotions and there are bad negative emotions. Obviously love is the strongest emotion of all, while anger trails a very close second. See, the spectrum of emotions puts a challenge upon the human race. And while we try not to hurt anyone's feelings, we still want to express our own feelings. And as a result, other people's feelings are hurt. We're not trying to, but it just happens that way. Some people are more sensitive than others. We know that's the case, too. And some people read into our words and our examples and our, our, our actions and make determinations which are not correct. And that hurts our feelings. See, a lot of crime takes place when emotions are running very strong. You know, crimes of passion are directed by emotions that under normal circumstances we would keep under control. And it is not good if we lose control of our emotions. And it can lead to sin uh, very easily and very quickly. So sometimes our emotional check is hindered by the influence of drugs or alcohol. And this fact has been known for years, and we see people behave in ways that are not normal for them. When people start drinking and start using drugs, I mean, it's just not normal, and we can tell. We can see that. And so that's why we have to be very careful not to be doing those things. That's why the Bible tells us we're supposed to be sober-minded. In other words, don't take the, the opportunity for drugs and alcohol to influence your thinking and your actions okay so whatever emotions we may experience we still have to keep them in check like I say the Apostle Paul wrote to the Ephesians says be angry and sin not do not let the Sun go down on your anger and do not give the devil an opportunity we know that's the case. Devil takes every opportunity to get into our minds and, and get us to do things that we're not supposed to do. And it's all for the purpose of keeping us out of heaven. We know that. And so sometimes our emotions get the better of us. And we lose control. And when that happens, we're likely to sin. We might punch somebody in the face. We might 
tell lies about them, might kill them, find ways to hurt them any way we can. All of these behaviors are described in the Bible as sin, and they're all stimulated by our emotions, by the, our feelings. And of course, another emotion we must control is love. Now, love's a great emotion, but so, too often, some people misinterpret lust for love. And, I mean, young people have this problem quite often. And while one person may think they love someone, that other person may consider the actions to be an obsession. Yeah, sometimes that's the case. This is usually the case with stalkers. And that never turns out good for those being stalked, unless they can get it figured out and then uh, have the person arrested for that. But still, I mean, that, that's the case. The stalker is so obsessed with these people uh, that that's what they do. Now, another emotion that we have to deal with sometimes is sorrow. It's an emotion that can overtake us to the point of severe depression. And a lot of people have this problem. It doesn't take much to send them into a depression stage, and it's hard to get them out. And encouragement and things like that really doesn't seem to do the trick. And such depression has caused some to take their own life, and certainly it becomes a concern for their loved ones. And sometimes depression causes their health to basically uh, disintegrate very rapidly. And so that we get concerned about them. And happiness, we know, is a very good emotion, but we must know that what causes the happiness needs to be the right thing. You know, sometimes sinful activity might cause you a brief moment of happiness, but that's not good. I mean, we, we, we understand the concept of joy and having joy in our hearts, but really, Joy is when we can understand that God is pleased with our actions. That's where true joy comes from. So whatever emotions we experience, know that not controlling them is sinful. And remember that Satan uses every tool in his arsenal against us, and some of his strongest tools are in ourselves, are in, within us, our emotions. And they are some of the strongest tools that he can use to get us to stumble in our walk with God. And so just keep that in mind. I mean, if you do something that's not right, Satan's gotten a hold of you in some way. And you've got to say, be gone, Satan. we we got to get rid of you. And, of course, we also need to turn around and ask forgiveness for our actions. Because our actions, which is the result of our emotions, um, can get us into trouble. So we need to ask God to help us control our emotions. And when we do, we have a good head on our shoulder and we can treat others properly and correctly. So think about those things. That's our lesson for today. Uh, Lord willing, be back again tomorrow with another lesson. And uh, you have a good day now. All right, bye-bye.